this is Mrs. Hink and let's talk density. I've got two containers here and a beaker of water. I'm going to put both of these containers inside the water and we're going to see what happens. Ready? Why do you think that happened? These containers are both the same size and they have the same amount of volume that can fit inside. So why did one sink to the bottom and why did one float? If you guessed that they had different items inside, you would be right. This container has cotton balls inside. What do you think the other container has? <laughs> the other container is filled with sand. So, which container is more dense? The one that sank or the one that floated? If you said the container filled with sand was more dense than the container filled with cotton balls, you would be correct. So let's move on to our next experiment. I have the same cup of water, but I dumped some of it out. I also have vegetable oil and a metal screw. We're gonna test the densities as they relate to water because dense means, or density means does it sink in water or does it float? The more dense something is, the more tightly packed together their molecules are. So let's find out what is the most dense of these three things, the vegetable oil, the screw, or the water. So I poured in a good amount of vegetable oil. Can you see what's happening? The vegetable oil is sitting on top of the water. Now let's find out what happens when we put the screw in. Where did the screw go? Straight to the bottom. Hmm, I wonder what would happen if we put something else in the water. Let's put in some cork. Ah, interesting. What happened to the cork? You see it? It's sitting on the top of the oil. So, which thing in these four items, which one of them is the most dense? The cork, the oil, the water, or the screw? So if you were to describe the atoms in this cup, you might say that the screw is more dense than the water and the oil is less dense than the water, but the cork is less dense than the oil and the water and the screw. Next, I have several different liquids poured into this glass graduated cylinder. Take a look. So down here at the bottom, we have syrup. Here is dish soap. In the middle here, that's water. Above the water is vegetable oil. And above that is rubbing alcohol. What can you tell me about the different densities as compared to the water that's kind of in the middle? Tell you again, syrup, dish soap, water, vegetable oil, rubbing alcohol. Which liquid is the most dense? Which liquid is the least dense? Which two liquids are more dense than water? and which two liquids are less dense than water. So how we would describe this graduated cylinder would be, the syrup is the most dense. 
of all five liquids in this graduated cylinder. The next most dense would be dish soap. Those two liquids are more dense than water, which means the molecules are more tightly packed together. As we move up, we have less dense than water would be the vegetable oil, and then even less dense than the vegetable oil is the rubbing alcohol. So these two liquids are the least dense and they are less dense than water, meaning their molecules are a bit more spread out. You can even see right in here, seems to be a lot of bubbles floating around. Isn't that interesting? So there's your density tower.